Hey guys, welcome to Easy Peasy Redstone, a tutorial series where I, well, we, race against the doors! <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Here we go! Okay, go, 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 go! Ah, oh, that's not fast enough! Okay, here we go. Alright. Uh, race against the doors! Speed, please. Oh, holy crap! Uh, how fast did you make me? Okay, dude! 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 Here we go! Ah! Oh my god, it's still not fast enough! Hey guys, I'm over here, and today I'm with Cat Master HD. Hi, it's me. Oh my God, where's my body? <laughs> Holy crap! Where's it? Can I borrow your body, half mob? On, on you go. I'm not using it okay. right now, anyway. I am. I am now possessing you. Bleep. There. Okay. <laughs> there. Right. So uh, as you can see, I've got a very familiar combination lock in front of me. It's the same one that me and Cat Mischief both uploaded a few days ago. We decided to come together and make what we think is the best design and then do a tutorial together. So if I enter the right combination lock, it'll get the right combination, um, it should open something simple. So we've done just six three by three doors. And there we go. So as you can see, it opens and you can run through and enjoy yourself. It's beautiful. Wait, enjoy yourself. So as you saw, all we had to do is get the right combination here and the door is open. And of course, if you get the wrong combination, I'm going to click over now. Everything will close back up. Run, f -up! Oh my god, that's fast. That's freaking fast. <laughs> oh, that is scary. Here, let's see. Isn't it beautiful? So, oh wait. What's the right? What's this one right here? Is this one one? Up. Yeah. Oh, it's eight. Okay. Woo! I'm going to close it again. So... There you go. Anyhow. Um, yeah, so that's the door. Let's go on to the tutorial. I'm just going to keep recording. Let's let's go over here. Let's go over here and, uh, and start. Take a scenic route. Huh? What? Where? Where? Take a scenic route. <laughs> <laughs> Show off our... Let's, let's, take a look, let's, let's take a look at the redstone behind this combination lock. Here's all of the redstone behind the combination lock. Okay. And that's why CCP is a redstone. So let, let's start with the let's start with building how to do do everything. <laughs> all right. Um. So yeah, as half mob half mob mentioned, um, I uploaded a, a you know a bit of a more compact version of the combination lock. Uh, except you know it could have used a little more compacting. So we went ahead and thought of um, <clears throat> another design, which we're gonna show you now. And remember, just like last time, put um, comparators this way. Remember, put them in subtraction mode. And now what we're going to do, I'm not going to bother with different colors. This is too simple. So we're going to go out like this. Actually, out three, like that, like that. All right, and then we're going to put comparators right here and here. Those are repeaters. Here and here. And then uh, right, some dust for some dust. Now, instead of uh, hoppers, we're going to use item frames because those are awesome there we go I will explain to you in a little bit how to how to work the, how to work it how to do those how to work it girl okay <laughs> uh, what we're gonna do is place blocks here and there and actually hey half mob it goes right it goes like this doesn't it? I'm doing it wrong blocks there and there and then in front of these two comparators down here okay uh, one, one of those things and then one of these things right here and then one of these things right here and here now, what you're going to do here at the bottom, put redstone dust across like this, and actually, let's just do that. Let's just do this. <laughs> okay? And then, say something. You're, you're doing well so far. Okay. Well, right. well done. All right, thank you. All right, so we're, <laughs> we're going to put a repeater going that way, and then uh, redstone dust right there. It's just going to travel upward to here and extend out to there, and that is your output and I forgot the item frames I thought you said I was doing well I forgot the item frames at the bottom and I forgot the <laughs> put a comparator right there all right so industrial here uh, one of those a block oh my god okay a little bit about that in in, in, uh, in a little bit a little bit about that in a little bit but anyways um, put an iron frame and now we could place our redstone dust right here so remember we're gonna need an iron frame there otherwise it's gonna go crazy but if we do, hey half mob, no, nothing in the in the frame is is one, right? So zero and <laughs> frames one. Yeah, the frames in the back will be one less than the frames in the front. Okay. So if you have one in the front, it'll be zero in the back. Okay, yes. So if you want, 
If you want, say for example, three in the front, it'll have to be two in the back. Like this. That's two, isn't it? No, this is two. No, what's that's two, and then so this is gonna be. Yeah, that, that's yeah. two. Okay, so there you go. So always, whatever you want to set it to in the front, make sure it's one less in the back. So um, that is pretty much it done. Um, it's very straightforward. And now uh, we're going to move on a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have half mob explain a little bit about, first of all, the output. It has to be out to here with the item frames. All right, but there is a way to have it go down like this. But uh, anyways, a little more on that. Um, half mob, let's, uh, let's cut just in case we mess up. Okay, so one thing about this design is if you do want to take an output, it does need to be like have a block in between the torch and the redstone. If you do want to take it this way, um, you're able to do it if something's in the item frame. But if you have nothing in the item frame, it'll actually make a clock and it'll bug out and cause torch burnouts. If you do want to get it down, keeping it that close to the design, you'll need to change this block with a chest and put preferably swords in it because you don't need many swords. I've used diamond swords but you can use stone swords or any other non-stackable item. So can this just going to be really nice and put all the numbers for what you need in the chest for an item at the front in the description. So just as an example if you've got one at the front you'll have nothing in the chest and if you've got two at the front you need one sword in the chest. And that's about it. It's really easy to remember. But anyways, yeah, like Half Mob said, um, I will put if you want if you absolutely want to use a chest there, just to have the uh, output right next to the design here. Um, I will show you what is needed in the description. It's very simple. The most items you'll ever need to put are twelve. So remember, just use non-stackable. Whether it's wooden swords, stone swords, doesn't matter. Just make sure it's a non-stackable item. And that's pretty much it uh, for the design. This is the whole thing right here. Pretty neat. High five. High five, damn it. Hello? Are you dead? Did you die? I'm, I'm eating cake. Uh. Race against the door. What happened there? Wait a minute, what happened? That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> that was fail. <laughs>